Welcome to Space Lab. We are here in Space Engineer Space Lab. I am Cyber Settler and today we are going to continue testing these uh, mod uh, digis uh, realistic thrusters that take into account uh, the offset of the thrusters from the center of mass on a, of an object. So just to um, we are going to uh, like um, review again this concept of the center of mass. So um, a ship or anybody has a center of mass, and this like um, an average of the distribution of the mass uh, along the object or around it, like in the in its shape and this uh, is important in space because uh, the thrusters apply a force to an object and de depending where they uh, apply this force regarding the the center of mass it will give a rotation to the object it will add angular momentum so uh, here I have two ships uh, that I was uh, testing the last time I was testing the the mod with this this uh, ship right here and this is a modified version taking into account this um, this uh, offset of the of the thruster and if you uh, see my uh, last video I was testing uh, this offset with this ship and symmetry is important when applying uh, thrust so that the ship uh, can uh, like have this uh, let's say a, a, a expected uh, behavior when applying thrust and we saw last time that the ship was uh, if, if I wanted like to move the ship I in a lateral way direction there was some spin added to it by this offset so this is uh, in general undesirable so uh, what I did is that I uh, turn off the gyroscope because the gyroscope is a is a way to move to rotate a ship and in in, in reality the um, some ships they uh, some space uh, probes or satellites they use these uh, reaction wheels or gyroscopes to give rotation to 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 a probe, and it turns out that it's uh, very um, very precise in some instances, especially this gyroscope technology. And I think this is what what we have here in space engineers with a gyroscope. But it turns out that I was uh, looking, um, I was curious if other spaceships uh, or um, space modules use this uh, reaction wheel because we also find them in, in Kerbal Space Program, for example. It turns out that Ap Apollo didn't use these reaction wheels. It seems that they are very heavy. So when we have like this, um, m these ships that, um, they don't stay in space for um, a long period of time if they go to space and they come back again then in general they don't have this reaction wheel stuff it seems that um, the international space station has some reaction wheel system and some satellites uh, but regularly the other like the shuttle didn't have it space shuttle and these other uh, space probes or space um, vehicles that um, go to the International Space Station to uh, deliver resources they, they don't or yes they don't have this uh, this uh, reaction wheel stuff so I was uh, wondering if in space engineers by overriding the thrusters with this mod with this uh, 
realistic thruster mod we could have like all these RCS system just by overriding thrusters and I found out that it uh, it brings complexity to some complexity to the game so I mapped for example for this one I mapped uh, several action uh, keys to to a combination of uh, thrusters I, I will turn them on or, or off they are they are overridden and they will give me uh, these different this di like this uh, yes this different uh, movement so I want to show you what I did so this this was after some time of tweaking around with the with the override degree or force of each thrusters and you see here that I, I placed the, the thruster, I moved them. So for example here we have like this these thrusters um, two here to there and they are they are compared to the original model they are placed in, uh, differently and this was to try to to um, like take out this spin for example when I try to move sideways so let's test this so what do we have here in the in the first we have like this pitch control uh, backwards uh, up uh, by the way, I just I have like these several ideas or suggestions for Keen software for the Space Engineers game that um, right now we are mapping actions to this number this number keys, but it turns out that these numbers key number keys are not. Um, map to the numpad is like the regular number keys that we have on top of the keyboard it will be nice if uh, we could have this in the numpad as well because what I did here is like the numpad is um, is easier like to associate uh, some movement direction with a numpad um, but also it will be cool if we could also map it to other keys uh, for example if we if we have like this gamepad if we could um, map the actions to gamepad keys it, it would be very cool because of course if you don't use like you 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 are not going to use the mouse to orientate your ship and you um, are not n using the WASD key you're forced to use these number keys then it it becomes um, um, not it's not comfortable so you I, I do this because I like the the like the, the experiment like to to have a, a more realistic uh, approach to compare w um, or to 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 see how these uh, vehicles compare to uh, a realistic uh, space uh, vehicle uh, but otherwise if if you're playing normally in the game uh, it will be annoying to to use all these uh, number keys um, okay so what I want to show you here is um, let's try first uh, I, I want to try first like the like the side movement I s oh, and these are ah the jaw is not anymore I don't know if this all if all this will work what is I don't remember now this is the down and up yes for example down and up if is with eight and nine yeah eight and two two and eight eight is is up ah, right. so 
So you see that I, if I try to go up, it will rotate. So that's not... Um, also if I go down, this would rotate the ship. I'm, but this is because of um, the... You see, you clearly see that the, that that the thrusters facing up or down are um, tend to be on the back of the ship, and this is this is causing this extra momentum, angular momentum on the back side. So respect to the to the center of mass. And one thing I discovered that is very cool is that we can have um, we can have the center of mass shown and I didn't know about this feature and I don't know uh, because uh, usually th what what we have in the game is that all the thrusters are aligned to the center of mass no matter where you place them this is like the normal way the game uh, works the mod what what does is that it takes into account the the offset to the center of mass so i don't know if keen uh, originally had uh, foreseen this and and wanted to take into account the this um, offset but we have this option here to display the center of mass and if we do that you see you see there the center of mass very cool and this was another um, suggestion I had for, for Keen that we could see the center of mass but it turns out that we can see it similarly to what we have in Kerbal Space Program uh, and it's it's a very cool feature well this helped me a lot with this um, uh, for this uh, to realize what, what was wrong like to debugging this this um, thruster offset and here you can see that the the thrusters that control the movement up and down are mainly to the back of the of the ship so this is uh, it's on it, it's is logical that it will you will um, it will create this uh, angular momentum that we see okay but then um, what I wanted to test as well was this um, we have pitch yes ah well this is thrust left and right you will see uh, what I'm talking about now about this moving sideways I try to uh, reduce it as much as possible this is sideways and you see there that not only does it um, have some momentum in 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 one direction, but there are two two different instances where we have some. I I reduce it a lot, but but still we have some 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 um, strange movement. So this is. This was like uh, uh, testing a lot with this, not only with uh, with uh, position of the thrusters, but like like balancing the override. And it, it seems that in this case, one side is more balanced than the other, and this because I think this this side is not as well balanced, and you see that it's like making this weird roll. We don't have the same for the other side, and that I think is because I was um, I balance it. Uh, so, like this is a work in progress. So you see here that we don't have that that much um, rotation. So okay, so you um, you see what I mean with um, like I wanted to 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 like remind you from the last video uh, that this ship was not 
well designed. Meteor storm inbound. So what I want to do now is that I want to uh, go through the process of building a ship that is uh, that is uh, as most symmetrical as possible and try and try to make it like a, a, a workable a functional ship somehow like the minimum like uh, min minimally um, functional okay let's place it there okay I want to leave that one there I think we can take this out okay so let's start from scratch from uh, to, to build another ship uh, again uh, really a, a minimalistic approach here so let's start with Uh, a battery. I think this is the first thing I will have. Start with a battery. Mm. So there we go. And I'm going to build a big ship. I think if we had um, a small ship, it's it's somehow I think it would be easier I haven't tried yet with a with a with a small with a small ship okay so we uh, are going to have a battery a generator so this is the basic uh, stuff and this will be like in the in the we will have like this central um, axis where these things are going to be placed so if I if I usually when I build my ships I place the battery and the, and the generator at the bottom of the ship not in the center like if we look at it vertically and it turns out that this is not a good uh, design for this uh, if you are considering this uh, thruster offset and if you uh, if I would want to um, like have this uh, not in the center then I would duplicate it and make like uh, one battery at the bottom and one at the top so they would compensate each other's mass otherwise we have this um, asymmetry and asymmetries what 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 they create is uh, it makes uh, balancing the ship more difficult and the, my experience uh, with this was that I had to put like extra armor somewhere to balance it but if we are uh, building this from scratch uh, and having this in mind then um, it's easier so there we are we have um, a battery there with a <coughs> with a hydrogen generator by the way this this has been an interesting experience for me because it shows practically that these ships that have like this shape um, this boat shape as I call it like these Star Wars um, ships these all these Star Wars ships they look either as a boat or submarine or as a plane and these all these ships have in common that they have an asymmetry they may be symmetrical sideways but they are not symmetrical in the vertical direction and the reason for that is uh, well maybe it's not obvious to everyone but um, but obviously it is uh, like that because um, in uh, they are subject all to gravity on earth so the advantage for example of um, a boat uh, it's different than uh, space is that it has it's sitting on water right 
and the water will push uh, upward and it will um, it will the, the the boat will have a weight that goes downward and the water will push it upward and this will stabil st stabilize the, the the vessel something that you don't have in um, in space so that's why uh, space vehicles if 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 uh, you're going to work with this center of mass stuff um for the for the, because of the thrusters then they need to be symmetric and in in not only uh, um sideways but also vertically and here um i was placing the 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 cockpit and as you can see i placed two of them because I already thought that if I the problem with this cockpit uh, I was checking the, the the mass of the cockpit on the wiki all these uh, parts have mass and the the value of this mass is is uh, like I cannot put um, uh, like a, an armor block here either heavy or light that will have the exact value of the cockpit and this is a problem because if I put a cockpit here then uh, it's relatively um, heavier than any um, light armor block and so it will it will push the center of mass upward we don't want to move that center of mass and as you can see here interesting is that as I place blocks the center of mass is moving and in this case it moved forward because of this uh, because I placed these two uh, cockpits here so this is this is uh, important okay so now we need to we need to drive the center of mass backwards because and there uh, uh, ideally it will be placed here like in the middle of this one because from there we can then um, place our thrusters so let's add I will add then um, some conveyor blocks to move it backward and I will place as many as um, as uh, required I think it's almost there right it's sometimes it's difficult to to see exactly where I try to be as precise well this is already not um, optimal here okay but we will um, so then uh, some uh, kind of juggling starts some kind of juggling with uh, with uh, with uh, but I think this is pretty well it's not exactly well you can see yes it's I would like to 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 have it a little bit more so let's try to place uh, maybe the the light armor is um, it's not as heavy okay it's bringing it so it's almost there guys so you see here that it's almost so I don't know if like mm, what is this other block 3 maybe something like this will be better so <laughs> now you see that the that the ship somehow is taking a shape that doesn't obey with any um what's it called ah there this this design doesn't obey with any like um <laughs> statics <laughs> but it obeys um it obeys like this center of mass stuff so you can see now that that the front part is heavier than the than the back part it's obvious there right and um, 
I, this is because of the cockpit, that's one thing. Also, I think the battery is particularly uh, heavy. Whoops, okay, no, yes. It's particularly heavy as well. Okay, so, um, yeah, these blocks go like this. And I think I will place for the thrusters. I will place an extra because of course we we will need to place this thruster. So I will need this extra extra um, conveyor here. So it doesn't matter now. We it, you, as you can see, we are building around the center of mass. So if we add the same amount of blocks around all around, um, then. There's no problem with it because all are the same, like the same um, mass. Okay, so I think that's that's what we need, and then we need to connect these things, and then I will place the thrusters, and basically that will be it. I will uh, need to add an antenna because uh, then I will need to to. I need to see to identify each thruster individually. Okay, so and this is like the in general this would be like the Apollo. Um, I'm I'm copying this um, layout from the Apollo. The, the I mean the thrusters layout. They do the trick like this. They will place four um, thrusters like this the same here and and in space engineers the thrusters are so big are huge so of course if you are like um, using I hope they don't burn each other uh, no we don't need that one This is my other, I don't know, request for keen. Like, can we have like smaller thrusters? <laughs> Especially, I don't know, some, maybe uh, it's, it would be like a single block, right? It will be like a, 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 an RCS uh, thruster cluster, right? Like the Apollo. Because these things are huge, it's ridiculous. Look at it. <laughs> it looks horrible. But um but it I mean I think uh, the, the 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 best is to do it with the small ships, definitely. But this is uh, a test guys. So you see that this design is completely driven by um by this problem of the center of mass. <laughs> and the RCS okay so now I need an antenna I know that this will break my uh, my my design but I don't care because I will take it out anyways it's just that I need to see all these thrusters um, individually because now we are going to like map the we need to map the thrusters to the well the first thing is that we were we are going to turn them off all of them we want to see it in the heart wow and this is really huge the the, the amount of i think i will leave it at 200 Kilo newtons, I think it's too much. Let's see if this works. 200. Yes. Okay, so now all of them are off. And what we need to do now is to map them. We are going to create groups. This is how I use do it usually. I will create these groups. So the first would be like um, to have them 
let's map the the for forwards, backwards, and sideways. So forwards would be the the first one, the hydrogen thruster going backward. Uh, no, for I say yes. Th these these are the backwards. So hydrogen thruster and which one is this? The fourteen, right? The fourteen. So, well, I think we c we can just backwards. Backwards, w they would be the just the backwards. So let's let's map them. This one, this is easy. The backwards, the one when we need to look at each of them. It would be when we are mapping uh, like this um, when we want to to have this ar this uh, rotation so backwards so those are backwards now let's go for the forwards okay forwards Now um, down. So this this part is um, easy. Okay, so these are down, up. And now the left and right. So you see that um, there is, we don't have um, gyroscope, just we're going to make all this uh, movement with uh, the thrusters. So that's it. So these are the basic m uh, motions. Let's map it. So, for example, if I want to go backwards, it would be the it would it would be the number two. Like if I would do this with a with a numpad, I will um, track this to the to the number two, and then eight will be forwards, right? Eight would be forwards, and left. Left will be four. And right will be six. And usually, what I do for the to to go forward, to go, sorry, up and down, is that in the second one. I will, um, for example, have down in the three and up, I will have it in the nine. So let's test that. This should work. This should work nicely. So, ah, but first I probably will have to. Um, I will have to add the antenna again, but just to test. So there we go. This should work, guys. <laughs> Fingers crossed because I don't get always the 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 <laughs> expected results in space engineers. Okay, so for example, if we would go forward, that's forward. Ah, of course, I have to disable the the dampers. So there we are. We have 
some speed. Okay, so it seems... Yeah, it seems to work. It, we don't have any of these... Um, any of these um, weird... any of this weird rotation stuff okay so that's that's uh, forwards and backwards let's uh, test sideways so there we go sideways so no rotation right that's cool okay so that's six and then four the other way so if we w if we would want to like um, have more power we can change the override but this is basically what okay I think I, I mapped it the other way around the four, I think, um, what was it? Yeah, the, f the f uh, four is left, yes. And f six is right. So six, we should move to the right. Ah, yes, no, uh, it's okay. Okay, so that's, that's how it works. What else do we have? Ah, we have the uh, up and down, right? So let's go up. Let's go up. Ah, that's up. And down, down with a three. So it, it works pretty, pretty well. This um, it, it, because this is the, the the most difficult thing to to have this linear movement. The, the rotation is not as as difficult to 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 have it um, with this offset as the linear ones. Uh, okay, so now I need um, I need my antenna. Please, where's the antenna here? Because now I I. I really need uh, to look at the thrusters. Okay, so for example, let's um, think about the jaw, for example, jaw. Or no, uh, no, no, let's think first of the roll, because this is in the one, right? I map it to the seven and nine in the one. So for the jaw, if we're going to uh, have a jaw um, clockwise rotation, it will be the 11, the 11 and the 7, the 11 and the 7. So here, roll, uh, I'm sorry, thrusters, the 11 and the 7 we said, right? And we say uh, roll clock is the group. Roll clock. 11 and the 7. Right? And then uh, for the anti clock, it will be 5 and 13. Thirteen and five, and this will be roll anti clock. Yeah, so for example, if I were to so then I map the, the groups roll clock will be the 7 and roll anti-clock will be the 9 
and then uh, now let's talk about the the jaw right the jaw and the pitch the jaw and the pitch so if we want to um, jaw right we will have the 12 meteor storm inbound the 12 and the 8 the 12 and the 8 12 and 8 that would be jaw right okay and if we want to jaw left that would be the 9 and the 6 the nine and the six. Nine and six. Jaw left. And now what it, the only thing pending is the pitch. So pitch up. To pitch up we need the the thrust, the, the one and the uh, 16 1 and 16 pitch up and to pitch down we will need the 3 and the 14 pitch down okay so that's it I think we're done so now um, so let's say jaw left And jaw right, jaw left is jaw left is four, and jaw right will be six. And now pitch down would be then the eight. It's like um, it's like um, the inverse. I like this inverse um, design, right? so pitch up would be the two okay so that's it and now we can remove the stupid antenna <laughs> i mean we could have an antenna but this one is huge i don't really like that much okay so what do we test first let's test uh, the this jo these uh, rolls right Let's test the rolls. And you're going to notice something here. This with the 9 and the 7. So, is it? Ah, yes, it's. It's very slowly. So you see that that one makes it roll. Right? Slowly but surely. And one thing about this is that if I stop, it will damp. I think I need to add more. Let's add more. More power, like double the power to the thrusters because they are very weak. So let's or let's put it at 500. Let's see. So that is the jaw. Let's have the other. 
one thing in, in, in space engineers is that this rotation is damped no matter if I have dampers off if the ship is rotating it's automatically is automatically um, damping it and I think this is because of the of the gyroscope you are supposed to rotate in space engineers only with the gyroscope stuff and this is um, so there we are rotating so this makes like this um, uh, RCS stuff uh, not very um, realistic because you're always being damped and and if you want to continue rolling then you you have to have these um, thrusters on all the time and this is uh, not efficient from a fuel consumption point of view okay so let's now um, try the 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 jaw movement with four there we have it we're jawing uh, to the left now jaw right and the pitch with two I will pitch up and pitch down so you see guys that that it works perfectly right it doesn't introduce any um, weird any weird um, momentum angular momentum anywhere I am curious about if I uh, give it uh, the full that's a lot I don't know 1.1 mega newtons what do you think guys <laughs> what would happen here wow 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 okay <laughs> too much too much <laughs> now as I as I had it was here you can see like the damping of the of the movement so that's too much so I would um, say that uh, it would be like half or a quarter of it what is half is like this uh, 500 kilo newtons let's put 500 kilo newtons still very strong but you you get the idea right um let's put half of it like it would be what 200 something 250 let's say still too strong yeah it's too strong but anyways guys I I think I will wrap it up here just a final so this is like the, the a basic design here you see that the, 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 the shape is, is, is somehow maybe strange you could of course um, you could add blocks to it if as as long as you add these blocks um, symmetrically well of course this is now moving probably this is moving the the center of mass backwards maybe uh, no not yes I think so so you have to take this into account so if the if the center of mass um, as you build the ship is moved backwards that would mean that you have to move the, the thrusters and align them to the center of mass but this is like the the basic design you will have like this um, 
16 thrusters all around uh, in this in this layout and this this Apollo layout this Apollo module layout and you will um, you will be out of, tr of trouble and you see here <laughs> it's curious the the shape uh, that it takes so no Star Wars uh, fancy ship here <laughs> this is like a more realistic um, approach and I have another ship uh, I wanted to show you the other ship I have this other ship is it's not very I have it coupled coupled to the to the um, this shunter shunting module um, I don't know which one. Ah, oh, there. So this is it. This is the other ship I, I made, and I was careful um, to to place. This has more, I think, but this is at the end. I I found out that it's not very good to have. Uh, well. It's more complicated. You can have uh, these many thrusters, but you have to be careful that they are they are um, equally distance from the from the from the center of mass. So this is uh, an optional layout. And this I was I took care that everything was balanced out. So this ship has more elements to it, like. Uh, it has uh, doors, it has um, vents, it has uh, um, a cockpit with this new cockpit that was added in this update. By the way, thanks, Kin, for this update. It was very nice to have this um, type of cockpit, this open cockpit here. And um, even, I think, even the the, the batteries and stuff the batteries and the and the generators are at the bottom it, they are not like the, the 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 other ship i just made now from scratch that they are in the center they are at the bottom so you can do some things some asymmetrical things but it's um yeah you have to to keep an eye on that center of mass that is pretty nice that we have it in in the game so what I um, my other um, like uh, how I would say request to Keen would be that they uh, remove this uh, damping of the rotation. So this would be the other request, and of course to have like this offset not with a mod, but if we could have like this option to have uh, the the offset turn on or off in some option parameter okay guys so I think that's everything we are going to do today I hope you enjoy the video if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button subscribe uh, to receive notifications of um, our channel and I will see you next time so bye